Hi, this is Julian for Production Expert with a quick tip on how to add extra weight to your snare drums. Here's a track. You listen to the snare. Nicely tuned. There's not a huge amount of weight to it. So I'll fix that with this track. Hopefully you can hear that. Let's solo them up so you can hear it on its own. I'll start with it off and just bring it in. So, what is it? It's a uh, it's a downtuned snare. That's all it is. I've used a pitch plugin for that. But the trick to this isn't uh, to use a real time plugin. What I could do is something like this, where I just uh, duplicate the top snare drum track. And uh, if I were to uh, just add a a pitch two plugin, and all I did in that example was I just down tuned it by five semitones. And this is what you end up with. And if I just do this and uh, just solo up just those two tracks. And you can probably hear it's flamming. The downtuned version and the original aren't falling together reliably. There, that was a bad one. So what you do to avoid that is instead of using this real-time plugin, what you do is you use an audio suite version of the same plugin to achieve the same thing. So you end up with something like this. All I've done, apart from duplicating the track and applying this plugin, but in audio suite version, from here, pitch shift, pitch two, is I've gated it. Because if you don't gate it, then you also get the downtuned spill, which isn't ideal. So if I were to bypass that, and we have a listen to these. Tidier. And you can take it further. Steve DeMott, a uh, contributor to the blog who suggested this to me, sometimes adds a flanger to that bottom track for a bit of movement. Didn't want to do that in this case, but you could do something else, add some saturation, for example, or do something different with your reverb routing. But that's the bones of it. If you want to fatten up your snare drum, then use an audio suite pitch shift effect and tuck it in underneath the original for a sample-free augmentation of your drums.